Hello everybody, and uh, this is me with, of course, uh, Xfinity and uh, Farmer. And uh, Farmer, of course, will be watching this video right now, and he would be, uh, of course, uh, he, well, he said to me after this game that apparently um, he doesn't really give a shit how much damage he does, and uh, apparently um, he, he, if he doesn't do any damage, it doesn't really directly influence the outcome of a game, but well, it actually does. Um, of course, influence a lot. Uh, being top tier or either bottom tier, doing as much damage as possible is needed. Now, it's all about positioning. Now, I think it's important. Farmer likes to camp a lot. Um, as we're gonna see, he doesn't really get ham into uh, into, of course, the game. He doesn't go quite ham, and I I go quite ham. Like go directly in and get put out the damage, and I feel like. Every single um, good player, when I watch on Twitch or YouTube, um, you never see Jingles go super aggressive, and you can see that it directly contributes to a low stats, uh, in my opinion. Because he even he even admits himself that his stats is quite low. But if you look at Quickie Baby and uh, let's say Sircon and Sir Vosh, they play ultra aggressive. Uh, I, I can't, of course, keep up with that ultra-aggressive pace, but I, I just like to push it, um, push the pace a lot as well, for a number of reasons, as we're going to see. So you can see this situation I'm stuck into is very, very, um, let's say, dangerous. There's quite a lot of tanks here and there. I'm in direct danger with all this sort of tanks uh, here and there. But it's all about finding the space and opportunity to thrive in this sort of... Uh, location. You can't go into the back of the turret. Now, in the beginning of the game, I said to focus on the SU-12244 because uh, he's uh, from Kasna. And yeah, stats, you have to look at people's stats. you got to limit how well the enemy good players are going to uh, come out in the game. This WZ is awful, in an awful position. He, he, he certainly didn't expect me to, to demolish him at this location here. And now, uh, he is just dead meat. There's no way for him to get out of here. Uh, without, of course, any if if I don't get RT, let's say, he I wouldn't he wouldn't make it out of here alive. So plant one just Capolo, and uh, that's him gone. Two K damage already. And okay, that SU okay, he's backed off. This T25 too is is pissing me off now. And okay, T34 doesn't seem like he's interested in me. So you can see how Xfinity and go really aggressively down here. I didn't really aim for that shot on the super special, which I should really have, have done. And uh, secure the kill on the T25 too. As you can see, aggressiveness really pays off as this game is only, I think, a 42%, yeah, 42%, but you can see how aggressive we are to be able to push them out of their, um, let's say, comfort zone. You want to push out, or push them out of their comfort zone, so therefore they can feel uncomfortable. So now we push the SU one to do off his comfort zone, so he's 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 out of position. He can no longer, um, of course, outplay us using location wise, and that is what really good, how good players outplay um, you. If you watch their video, they they know where to go, and if you don't push them from the, out of their comfort zone, they are gonna so eat you up. So now you can see the difference between what I used to play and why I'm playing now is that. I, I go hold down or whatever you call it as much as possible as you can see instead of staying open I backed up right next to this little uh, let's say hill so I can be sort of covered up using the terrain and throughout the game Farmer was of course on the let's say behind all the like he wasn't at the first line let's, let's call it that he wasn't really aggressive enough to be able to push out and dish out damage and I believe that from the start he should have gone slightly more aggressive than sh he should have and um, then he could have achieved results such as what me and uh, Xfinity have done so it's not really a uh, let's say in what do, what do you what do you call it and it's not really a bad thing, he doesn't really know what he's doing at the moment because he's only played 1k game and for a 1k gameplay he's certainly not bad so yeah. you guys watching the video of course will understand that 
but I just feel like he doesn't quite understand what I meant by going aggressive and when I recommend him something I really mean it um, so tell tell him in the comments because he will probably be looking at the comments in this video what you guys would recommend him to do do you think that my recommendations are let's say good um, in a way that will increase his uh, uh, let's say win chance and of course performance and how much he would enjoy this uh, game because he could if you outplay people that becomes the next stage and I, I tell him what to do but sometimes he goes ah oh, you bullshit and uh, of course spit shit out, out, out on me and or well, kind of that that's what I was trying to let's say point out to farm it across this video that sometimes he doesn't go ham enough to do enough damage and doing damage is what you're supposed to do and okay now I'm caught out of position completely and I just have to continuously back off now now the Lorraine is gonna pay for it since I'm on a DP's cover you can see that aggressiveness in the beginning of the game really paid off otherwise we would not have had four kills here and sitting here with 3.6k damage and this is an ace of course um, with 1.5k base XP uh, which is a decent game no matter what and now I'm starting to like this Enduring since this is like the first couple games I got it um, when I fully upgraded it of course recently so as I said you can see stats wise for the enemy team and uh, how you want to outplay them in a way that will make you win the game is to push them out of their comfort zone and there our platoon managed to get 8 kills there and if and if farmer went more aggressive imagine that uh, my aggressiveness was held back by more aggressiveness from the enemy team then we do perhaps need someone to push along those plays and be a bit more aggressive to dish out the damage before it's too late but luckily this game we just had the upper hand in our own comfort zone because I was able to get hold down and all that and of course Xfinity rushed with me which made it all the better to win this game and Farmer if you're wondering why I tell you to go aggressive with me and you refuse and camp at the back look at how Xfinity here just we just carried this one pretty hard I would say we came first and second in the whole game in stats wise and uh, so hopefully this will uh, to, of course influence or teach or perhaps let's say guide you who's watching this video um, how you want to help out your new friend who just started the game and also how you might want to outplay the enemy so hopefully this ha this has been an entertaining and of course educational video and we shall see you another day